In this podcast episode, author Tim Ferriss shares his approach to productivity and effectiveness. He distinguishes between efficiency and effectiveness, emphasizing the importance of choosing high leverage tasks that have a significant impact rather than focusing solely on how efficiently they are completed. Ferris believes that effectiveness is about what you do, while efficiency is about how you do it. He prioritizes tasks that will develop skills and relationships, even if they may not lead to immediate success. Ferris discusses his daily routine, which includes activities like cold immersion, hot tub sessions, and journaling. He emphasizes the importance of starting the day without feeling rushed to set a positive tone for the rest of the day. He also highlights the significance of state change in improving productivity and decision-making. In terms of planning his daily schedule, Ferris blocks off specific days for different activities such as team calls and one-on-one -on -one meetings. He prioritizes single tasking for two to three hours a day, focusing on high leverage tasks that have been defined beforehand. He stresses the importance of having uninterrupted blocks of time to work on these tasks. Ferris also shares his approach to training and writing, preferring to train before meals and write for two to three hours at a time. He incorporates physical activity into his routine to keep his mind sharp, such as walking for two to three hours a day. In the evenings, Ferris engages in activities like rock climbing and archery to keep his mind active and enjoys sauna sessions before dinner to unwind and relax. When reflecting on his younger self, Ferris talks about his belief that money would bring happiness. However, he later realized that money is not a solution to internal problems and can amplify both positive and negative aspects of a person's character. He also discusses the challenges and misconceptions surrounding fame, emphasizing the importance of maintaining privacy and boundaries when dealing with public attention. Ferris delves into the complexities of relationships and the qualities he looks for in a partner, emphasizing emotional intelligence, admiration, and compatibility. He shares his approach to dating and the importance of setting clear expectations and communication from the beginning. He also discusses the concept of feeling feelings and integrating emotions, highlighting the importance of being in tune with one's emotions and being open to vulnerability in relationships. When it comes to dealing with low mood, Ferris emphasizes prevention through routines such as cold exposure, exercise, and social interactions. He stresses the value of scheduling group trips and activities to create anticipation and shared experiences that can boost mental well being. He also highlights the significance of having a support system and finding a tribe of like minded individuals to combat loneliness and feelings of isolation. Ferris discusses the concept of fear setting, where individuals assess their fears probabilities, and potential outcomes to gain a clearer perspective on their concerns. He also mentions the importance of having a big yes and focusing on a single goal or passion to avoid spreading oneself too thin. He emphasizes the value of letting small bad things happen and practicing acceptance to reduce anxiety and stress. In terms of book recommendations, Ferris mentions several titles that he frequently gifts to others, including Awareness by Anthony DeMello, Gold, by Hela Leah Gori, How to Change Your Mind by Michael Pollan, and The Effective Executive by Peter Drucker. He also recommends fiction books like Motherless Brooklyn for those looking to explore the genre and gain new perspectives through storytelling. Ferris shares his personal preferences, such as investing in high-quality bamboo bed linen and pursuing hobbies like archery and skiing. He also discusses the apps and tools he relies on including Google Maps, Uber, OpenTable, Slack, Alfred, Evernote, and Push to Kindle. He emphasizes the importance of building systems and scheduling to avoid burnout and maintain a balance between work and personal life. Ferris delves into his practice of taking mini retirements, scheduling periods of time off from work to improve systems and policies that benefit personal and professional life. He shares his experience of taking a three-week break in Suriname where he learned about the Amazon conservation team's work with indigenous communities. Ferris reflects on the resurgence of the four-hour body in the charts, attributing its popularity to a viral TikTok video promoting the 30-30-30 principle. He also discusses strategies from the four-hour body 
that he still incorporates into his routine, such as cold exposure, resistance training, and kettlebell swings. Ferris acknowledges the role of consistency in achieving success, but warns against complacency and routine. He stresses the importance of deliberate practice to ensure continuous growth and development. He also discusses the balance between ambition and self-care, noting that financial success is not the ultimate source of fulfillment. He shares his personal goals of finding a life partner, starting a family, and focusing on self-care and physical competition. Looking ahead, Ferris predicts that video will continue to play a significant role in content discovery and audience engagement. He anticipates a shift towards curated content and personalized recommendations to combat information overload and decision fatigue. He emphasizes the importance of having a small subset of friends whose judgment he trusts when it comes to content consumption and the value of recommendations from degenerate intellectuals. Ferris highlights the importance of aiming for big goals rather than settling for base hits and encourages listeners to back up their dreams with deliberate actions. He advises against hiding behind vague aspirations and emphasizes intentional practice and continuous improvement. He also discusses the balance between ambition and self-care, noting that financial success is not the ultimate source of fulfillment.